Hello there, the Fabled Harpooner here, ready to hunt another Jade Barath in the Snowball White Quest with the Sword and Shield weapon class and the upgrade to the Azida Haka Plus as the weapon of choice. Another status based weapon, paralysis based, in fact. So again, the per Plum Lodroth arm set. So, weapon craft, upgrade weapons. The weapon of choice, the Almighty Dahaka. We have got. Sorry, we have some increase in raw damage. Slight increase in paralysis damage. Sharpness. I'm not sure. I think we lose a bit. Maybe just the same amount, just uh, the bar is different in size. But the amount of grease sharpness is relatively the same. Sources. Uh, resources, sorry. Materials required. See, gobble spikes, fins, and whiskers. Whiskers are low rank items, so they're easy to get. Relatively easy. And the other two, I'm um, running low on. Especially the fins. Seven. I'm going to use four for this weapon. Probably going to have to farm more cabals later on for further upgrades. Let's get the weapon, in fact. Not so far, not for the next part. But maybe later on. Now, I haven't eaten yet this time around, so let's try to eat for. Specialist, if we can find it on fresh items, the better. And now I can get it from the meat and uh, fish at the uh, third option, steam food. But since uh, we don't have any fresh meat, I will try to find it as a daily skill in another set. In fact, the best way to check if there's any daily skill that has it is come into the veggie areas and see what the free daily skills are and all the free options. So far, none here. The other possibilities is with the drinks because they don't follow the same set that guides the rest of the foods but apparently we don't have it so we're gonna have to risk it with a partially fresh meal maybe we'll get a specialist maybe we won't and we do good so, Snowball Fight once again on the Tundra. On the Tundra? Or at the Tundra? Yeah, it should be at, as a place. Okay, now this time I can... We're a bit further away. We have to travel two areas at the very least. To reach where it starts. So I get a hot drink. And an agent drink is ready. Now I'm expecting it to fail like most of the other paralysis weapons because of its lack of a raw well, damage output because we don't have the right element and the raw doesn't really make up for it. It's not going to be as fast as using a fire based weapon. Block that. It pushes us back though without guard levels. I'm not sure what level you need with the sword and shield. Absolutely no paralysis came out at that moment. Oh, one onto the head. And I should have kept on blocking because the tail still managed to hit me. Did try to roll, but of course the game doesn't really want to recognise immunity frames now and then. Oh, it's really tight with the immunity frames. Can I? Uh, Try to reach under it. Uh, it doesn't really matter because the splash damage of those ice blobs really can easily snowball you in an instant. Well, there was a quick break on the claws. Okay, good thing I stopped on that combo so I could block. Although, not so much on that time. That took too long. Yeah, 
they're bouncing on the head. You, the times that you want to hit the head with a impact type weapon, you don't. And the times that you don't want to hit the head, you are constantly hitting it. Locked. Locked again. Here we've got a trip, but of course in raid so it doesn't trip over. Nicely blocked. Still took some damage, although not much. We have it sorted, so paralysis should be easy to pull off in the, in the moment I say it. Amazing, that tail's still too high for a regular combo of a sword and shield. How do you expect to get tail cats when their tails hang so high even when paralysed? Not sure how that hits, because I was nowhere near their head. But sometimes the hitboxes are a bit weird. No globs, just a woman here. You need to sharpen though. Don't think I have speed sharpener here, but let's go for it. Oh, I do speed have speed but sharpener. I should really pay more attention to what I equip. Mine's running away, exhausted. Doing some decent damage, but not much in paralysis. That's the other thing, these paralyzed, paralyzing weapons are a bit low on its, its status damage. Which makes it harder, compared with most of the poison weapons that are really high. These are kind of lacking. Will you baggies leave us alone? They've been attacking us all this time while this thing has been eating. And it caused me to stop some of the combos. Take it underneath it. Try to release the possibility of getting snowballed. I was behind it. I jumped towards it and I was still behind it, so that shouldn't even count as a hit. Amazing. Which I couldn't do anything for yet. We get another flinch, but we still don't get the trick because it's still enraged. Or we do it while it's enraged. So the timings are a bit off on the damage. I thought that was not a tripping one. Ow. Oop, force it to roll. Didn't notice it in time. Oh, come on. Will you? Ugh. Game doesn't like to cover it most of the time. Oh, max potion, completely healed. Get out of here, you... Oh, boy. Again, another wasted trip because it was still enraged. Amazing. So do enough damage to cause it to embrace, but the damage to cause it to trip comes out too late. Or at the wrong moment. Okay, it's doing its thing. That's it. Oh, camera. It's trying to be a bit better. Come on, Liz Baggy. Nope, still alive. Still alive. Got an 
don't have houses, but still. You do enough as a potion. I hate that the combat also pushes you or moves you forward as you're dealing it. You can see the raw, but I couldn't be bothered to try and block it. I was rather focused on dealing damage. Okay, but now I just died there somehow. Let's try and carve it if it lets us. Nope. Not a good time either. Oh, now I can. He's gonna roll. In snow. I'm guessing he can do it anywhere on the map compared to where the Balath normally can do it. Really? You're gonna walk backwards and forwards between the two parts? Got drinks. Attack already, please. Thank you. Oh, it's a double attack. I keep forgetting about those. Good try, Chacha, but I was faster than you. He went to a side and that still hit. And he can still hit on the way back, so it's not one attack only. Did that trip it? Finally, a proper trip. Although it didn't last too long, and I didn't really manage to do much damage on that tail. I will try to cut off the tail while it's uh, reachable. Still damage I can do, but I won't focus on it too much. Like desperately trying to hit it, other than other water parts. I'd rather focus on the legs, cause it to trip over and hopefully fall down, and then I can reach the tail. Or ja just dish out the paralysis damage and then try to reach the tail, as it sometimes hangs low enough. Here yeah, I'm trying to reach the tail. I really hate that the movement of the tail pushes you away, so it's really nasty for short range weapons like the sword and shield, as it actually pushes you away from its range, out of range. So as per usual, the sword and shield is good at cutting tails as long as they low hanging tails or ground hanging. Should sharpen. This is where speed sharpener. It's uh, nice and easy to do so. Ooh, nearly destined to that. Good thing I dived. Well, another trip wasted because it's enraged. I think there's been six trips and four of them wasted you and two enraged. Enraged mode. You can see how short the range is on the shield and shield that you can easily miss parts, even when you're standing right next to it. Well, we've got another paralysis. Oh, with it. I didn't even hit it. The accuracy on the sword and shield such a has a, such a tiny hitbox on the attack. Shame I didn't recover in time to block. Maybe the roundhouse slash should have a, an ending, a blocking ending. I think they should have that. If they haven't already. Oh, didn't block in time. Ah, I knew the tail was going to hit me. 
bit slow on the blocking. I say that because of, in regards to the Ram Hex House Slash, because since you pretty much end up with the sword to a side and the shield in front of you, why isn't it blocking? Okay, I dodged a bit too early there. Oh great, and it took so much damage there. Well, I'm trying not to use the analog stick because it makes too much noise when it's stunned. But that slows me down on the recovery. I don't really like the idea that you have to mash buttons in order to recover. Rather there will be a better way of doing so. I really can't think of an idea to use instead. What's the time? Let's see, past the 10 minute mark. It's still not limping. Hopefully, we can get a quick limp after this area. Pretty much on par with other palace's weapons, I suppose. We get the kill after the 15 minute mark, but it's still before the 20th. So it will still be better than the. Bow? That was a strange trick. Did someone do enough cutting damage to that tail for us to move forward? Which usually that only happens when they're doing stagger damage on that tail. So it could be close to cutting. Oh, Sir Daisy, thank you for the bomb, Kayamba. Well, we've got another trip in that <laughs> cha cha. Well, we've got the cap finally. It takes just longer because it's so hard to reach. So you just need to take your chances. Nice, another trip. I'm going for it. It's down. Yeah, a roar, and it should be limping. No, it's still not going away. And now it is. And it is limping. So yeah, we've passed the 15 minute mark. Hopefully we'll get the kill soon enough. What was that noise? I think I thought I'd heard something. Where are you? you? Why are you over there? I thought you knew me over here. I guess because it's in base. Oh, nearly got me. Rolled over the... the sting rolled over a popo. A baby popo, that is. Well, I'm not going to bother with a Benzo yet. No, I only risk to be an attack. Of being attacked. Uh, allow Chacho or Kamba to do the damage, break the ice. Yeah, let's move out of there, thank you. And you stop before <laughs> the area I wanted to attack you at. Nice, a bounce, so that didn't quite hit. Ooh, facing was wrong for that attack. Got an embrace, working us drop sharpness. He's probably gonna run to the next area. Yeah. He's really trying to get away. Let's see here. Have plenty of hotlings, so I can just use them. I probably could use uh, Cha Chen Kayamba with the feline and Melix masks at the same time. But I'm not sure if I want to see all those blocks. 
Hey, kid. Well, we got the kill finally. Quest info, 32 minutes, 28 seconds remaining. Pretty much on par with other paralysis weapons. Is there any rock here? No, no rocks this time around either. Just birds and bones. And baggies. Thank you again, but for getting rid of them. Well, at least one of them. Watch out for any rocks that might spawn. Do they still give you insect husks here? It's such a waste of time, though, things. Literally no use in the game whatsoever. Oh, dragon bone relics. Oh, the stone is there. Ugh, full of items, so can't even mine, probably. And even run out of time. Well, quest. Ugh, pathetic amount in quest rewards. Well, we got more breaks from the claw breaks. Keen bones, ridges, carapaces, and gloves. Knock out plus three, recovery speed plus four. Guess the recovery speed would help with this armor set since it has a negative points in it. No, it's not in this one, it's in the Gabor armor set, actually. Anyway, this has been the Fable Arbuna. And in uh, Jake Baroth in the Snowball Fight Quest with the Sword and Shield Weapon class and the Almighty the Hacker as the weapon of choice. Stick to online hunts with friends for paralysis weapons, not so good for offline or village ones. You have better options. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time and good hunting.